Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for Valorant Season 2025 Act 3, which has dropped recently. This guide aims to help you with fixing your FPS drops, frame lags, stutter, and a lot of other issues related to the game to make your experience much more smoother and we are going to be going through all of the windows settings as well as the game settings to improve your performance so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro all right let us start with the first step that is essential windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your pc and once you're over here head over to personalization and then go down to colors right over here you'll find something called transparency effects you're gonna have to turn this thing off and this will disable these transparency effects on your pc it won't help you to get a lot of performance boost but it helps you to smoothen your windows experience right after that head down to accounts and then your info right over here i would recommend you guys to exit your account and use a local account simply select use a local account right over here and that should be it after that come down to gaming head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off game bar is an overlay service and running it in the background would be costing you with your system's resources disabling that would help you to fix that after that go back to gaming head over to game mode and i would recommend you guys to turn this thing on game mode optimizes your pc by turning things and applications off in the background and it helped me to gain extra performance right beneath that you'll find graphic settings click on that and right over here you'll find optimizations for windowed games what you guys have to do is simply enable that and then click on advanced graphic setting enable hardware extra gpu scheduling and this will help you to utilize your graphic card to render the games after that click on Add a desktop app and then go to the download location of your game. For most of you guys, it would be in local disk C, under Riot Games, under Valorant Live, and then shoot a game, find Re64, and you'll find the Valorant Win64 shipping.exe. Click on the add button. If that is already added, scroll down to find that and then select it. For the GPU preference, utilize your graphic card over here and then enable this option, and that should be it. Simply close your settings. Next step is compatibility settings, and for that, simply go to the download location of your game. Local disk C riot games valorant live shooter game binaries win64 scroll a bit down until you find the win64 shipping.exe right click on that properties compatibility right over here you'll find disable full screen optimizations simply check that and then click on change idpi settings enable this option and select applications over here click on ok apply and ok this will help you to get rid of unwanted system latency next step is disabling background applications after that simply search for local group policy editor you'll find something called edit group policy this step will only be available for windows pro users once you're over here double click on computer configuration then administrative templates windows components then app privacy and right over here you'll find something called let windows apps run in the background this is a super simple yet very important policy right over here you have to double click to open it up and make sure that this is set to enable then for the properties of this policy set it to force deny and this will deny all applications running in the background forcefully this will help you to improve the performance of your pc once that is done simply close it once again a lot of you guys are suffering from higher ping packet loss and input latency and this is a very big issue especially if you're sitting far away from the servers or you're using an unstable or unreliable internet connection well to fix all of that what you guys can do is head over to lagofast.com this is a very simple yet efficient tool to eliminate lag you can simply download it for your windows once you've downloaded it simply open it up and you guys can find over 100 games to choose from the best part about this application is for all of my subscribers once you download this application head over to the redeem code page and over here you have to simply type in bear fox and then click on ready once the verification is done you guys will obtain a one day free trial period to check out lago fast for yourself click on the confirm button and then click on close simply look for valorant from this search option select the game and then click on the nearest server to you i currently reside in india so india is my server over here and let it load the node for you guys Select the server which is giving you the lowest ping. For me, it would be this server. And once that is done, click on the one click boost option. This will help you to connect your game straight to the servers without any kind of hindrance, which will be eliminating all kind of ping issues, packet loss, and a lot of other network related stuff. And not just ping, it also helps you to boost your FPS as well. 
head over to the FPS boost section and right over here you guys will see CPU, GPU and the GPU drivers. I have personally used Lago Fast to improve my game performance and it was phenomenal. I would recommend you guys to go check it out for yourself. Links are in the description below and don't forget to use code BEARFOX for a 24 hour free trial. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and open it up. Right over here select your local disk C and then click on the create button. Name it something that you can remember and press enter. I highly recommend I recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once this is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Valorant V25 A3 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can alternatively join my Discord server to download this. And over here, you'll find in six simple folders. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. And if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. This will help you to set up the correct D word value for your processor, improving its performance. After that, second folder over here is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of preset according to your system's RAM. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so you can apply it according to your PC. Once again, if that doesn't work out well or you want to reset it back to default, use the reset to default registry right over here. Next one is Valorant priority and it is the most important part. Simply leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Next one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services to disable on your PC. Most of them are completely unnecessary and consumes your system's resources. Disabling them will help you to improve the performance of your PC. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave these two services as it is and disable every single one of them right over here. It will help you to boost your system's performance drastically. And once again, if you want to revert any of them back again, head over to this folder and turn them back on. Next is input delay improvements and this will help you to get rid of all kind of input latency. First one is keyboard latency for which I would require you guys to comment your keyboard model down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose over here. This will help you to set up the correct priority for your keyboard eliminating all kind of input latency. Next is mouse latency registry over here where I have left a fixed mouse curve and if you edit it in notepad you guys can see that it helps you to set up the X and Y curve for your mouse which is really accurate and used by pros. Once again to run it simply double click to apply that. Last and not the least is the programs folder wherein I have left these three simple programs. First one is Bearfox PC Optimizer.bat. Once again you can edit that in notepad to see what are the changes that it is going to do on your PC and to run it is even simpler. I click on that and run it as administrator. This will ask you to press any key to continue. Simply press any key on your keyboard and this will back up your registry files and make a system restore point. Press any key on your keyboard, then press enter once again, then enter and this will help you to improve your network throttling, then press enter again, optimizing system response, enter again, set up your GPU priority, enter again and optimizing your windows updates, enter once again, disabling hibernate features. Next is optimize a windows visual settings next will disable all kind of game dvrs another enter and it will help you to enable ultimate power plan which you have to select right after this one press any key again and then this will disable xbox services in the background that should be it press enter again and that should be closed once again after that is done immediately look for control panel and then over here search for power options once you're in here simply select ultimate performance plan which should be added in your preferred plans or additional plans over here and that should be it it will disable all kind of power saving features on your PC helping you to improve the performance. Next is clean temporary files bad and it is a super simple tool. Right click and run it as administrator. Once it opens up press any key to continue and this will delete all kind of temporary files off of your PC. Press enter once again and that should be it. Next one is process lasso which is a very important and simple tool. Simply install it and open process lasso over here. Over here you will see all kind of processes running in the background including your active processes. To depict how you want to use it simply open up valorant in the background once your game opens up you will see something called valorant win64 shipping right over here what you guys have to do is simply right click on that and then click on cpu priority then click on current and set it to high 
After that, right click on it again. For the IO priority, go over to current and then select high. Then head over to the same thing, efficiency mode, current on. Once that is done, simply head over to the minimize button. And this is how you have to do it every single time you drop into the game. Ensure that your game is utilizing the highest priority. For now, I have to quit the game. Once all of that is done, simply close the FES pack. Next step is deanimating windows. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Select that, click on custom and then select save taskbar thumbnail previews. Show thumbnails instead of icons. Show window contents while dragging at smooth edges of screen fonts. Other than that, all of the other options should be set to disabled to ensure that you are getting the lowest amount of animations and the smoothest ones on. This will help you to keep your basic minimal look of your windows intact while disabling all other fancy animations, allowing you to save some computation resources. After that, head over to the advanced tab and the next step is setting up your virtual memory. Click on the change button over here, select your local disk C and set the initial size to 1361. For the maximum size, open up your calculator. I have 32 GB RAM so I had to divide 32 by 2 and basically you will need half of your RAM. So if you have a 8 GB RAM, simply set it to 4. If you have a 16 GB RAM, set it to 8. For my case, I have 32 GB RAM, so I have set it to 16. Multiply this with 1024 to get your memory in megabytes. Once done that, the new value that you get over here should be pasted in the maximum size. After that, click on the set button, click on OK and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory. This concept is used by Windows if your RAM is completely utilized and you still need more. So it utilizes is your storage disks as your virtual RAM. Once that is done, click on OK. Next step is config settings for Valorant and for that, press Windows and R key together and type in app data. Once you're over here, simply search for local, then go down and find Valorant. Double click to net up and then head over to saved, config, and then you have to open up the recently changed folder over here. Simply click on date modified and this will give you the date of the folders which were recently modified. Double click to open it up, then head over to Windows and you'll find game user settings.ini. Right click, edit it in notepad and once you're over here, what you guys have to do is set BU's vsync to false, set your audio quality level to zero, then come down and then for the scalability groups, set everything to zero. You do not want any of them on, press Ctrl and S once done with that and simply close it. After that, Close your window settings as well. Now drop into the game for the best in game settings. After that, head over to your video settings and right over here, come over to the graphics quality and then for the multi-threaded rendering, you wanna have to set it to on. For material, texture, detail and UI quality, set it to low. Vignette and VSync should be turned off. Anti-aliasing should be set to none. Anisotropic filtering, 1x and all of these settings to off. However, you guys can change your anti-aliasing if your PC allows you to, as well as your anisotropic filtering since it helps you to improve the visibility and clarity in the textures. Once that is done, simply click on close settings and you're good to go. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.